magic of YouTube. It's only gonna take a few seconds. But we're gonna let this thing dry for two to three hours approximately. And when it's done, we'll have the glued puzzle to the good neighbor store Springbok Spring 500 piece puzzle. And we'll hang it up on the wall and we'll head on to the next one. Hello, Super Dan. Jigsaw puzzles. Well, we finished the gluing of the Good Neighbor puzzle. It is glued. Here's the proof of the pudding right there. Glued, see, glued. And we're gonna hang this puppy up proudly. Probably gonna go right here on this spot as you walk into the Super Dan Office de uh, Responsibilities or whatever. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hang this sucker up. We're gonna go right to the next one, which is the roadside. Oh, yes, I had to cheat there. Uh, the roadside America White Mountain One Thousand Beast Puzzle. Very excited for this one. Lots of cool signs on this one. I like collages. I really do. And we're gonna get that started in three, in three, <laughs> two, one, go. Howdy, peeps. Super Dan, Super Dan's Jigsaw Puzzles. We finished the gluing and putting up the Good Neighbor Store right here on the wall of Super Danny. Looks great, but now I can't wait to do this White Mountain Puzzle. This is puzzle number three, Roadside America, if I could show it to you real quick. Here it is in all its glory. I can't wait to put it together. Road signs, famous road signs throughout the, the road. A lot, a lot of Route 66s. Uh, I saw Paul Bunyan on it, Superman, and all sorts of other stuff. I can't wait to get it started. Thousand Pieces, White Mountain, very cool company. Been around 30 plus years. They're located in Jackson, New Hampshire, small little town. Successful family owned business, grew slowly. And they're up there. They're up, White Mountain's up there in the puzzle business. Good for them and good for us. So uh, this is gonna be a large puzzle. So I'm gonna try to figure out where to put this once it's all together because the pieces are kind of bigger than normal and it's a thousand pieces. So we'll see how big this is once we finally put this together. So let's stop uh, chopping at the gums and let's do it. All right, so we're gonna begin the sorting, the sorting part of Roadside America, Thousand Pieces White Mountain Puzzle. Um, my strategy for the sorting is pretty simple. Separate all the flat pieces. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, I did try to put darker pieces in one box, lighter pieces in another box, but after uh, that, I quickly realized it wasn't gonna work. This puzzle's all over the place. It's very busy. Uh, the pieces are all different shapes and colors. Uh, it just wasn't gonna work that way. So uh, the most important thing is, is flipping up all the pieces right side up so I can look at them and I'll be able to move them around the boxes and be able to see them. Because obviously this is gonna be a puzzle where you know, you're gonna be placing pieces according to where they go in the puzzle and then eventually build them up into completion and then filling in the border spaces and the, and the spaces thereof so uh that's basically the strategy and let's get this puzzle started Boy, that took some work. Uh, when you do a thousand piece puzzle or more, you, when you sort it, it reminds you of how many pieces that really is. 
But uh, let me just show you what I did real quick. Let me get this puzzle dust off of this thing. Um, here are the flat pieces. Now, unfortunately, I found a few flat pieces in the mucks. Uh, so I'm hoping that that was it because I'd really hate to go through this to find more flat pieces. I hope I got them all. We'll find out soon enough. In the beginning, I was sorting from light to dark, but I realized that that wasn't really working. Uh, this isn't that kind of puzzle where you're sorting colors, because look at that. Uh, the colors are all over the place. Uh, the shapes are all over the place, so you can't sort by color. You can't really sort by, by shape. Um, so basically, uh, the, the important thing is to flip them all up, face up. See, they're all face up. And that's it, you know? And to be able to, you know, go through them without flipping up too many pieces. Because basically this puzzle, this puzzle is gonna be similar to the last puzzle we did, which was the, uh, the um, Good Neighbor Store, which is that we're gonna take pieces and fit them in, right? We're gonna fit them in where they we know they go in approximate relation to the to the puzzle, and then work our way around it. So it's gonna be kind of all over the place as we start. So we're, first we're gonna do the border, then we're just gonna grab pieces that we know where they are on the board, and just start slowly building. That's really the strategy for this. So uh, there you go. Uh, Let's make sure we got all the flat pieces that's gonna come next. Well, as you can see, This is gonna be a big puzzle. <laughs> Almost takes up my whole white Spring Mountain, uh, or the Spring Mountain, that's White Mountain puzzles for you. Look at that. Wow, just enough room to put, put the chippies. So, not bad, we're just missing one border piece. Right here, right here. See that? Right there, and it's, and it's right there, it's a black, it's like a dark black piece. It shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, we'll find it as we go through these pieces. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, also record in part one, uh, some of starting to put things in the puzzle. And, uh, and we'll just go from there, man. It's gonna be a beast. White Mountain Puzzles. <laughs> I forgot the, the size of these things. So it's, it's by far the largest puzzle in the room so far. So catch me in a moment when we start putting some detail in. Well, here's the good news. I made a lot of progress, a lot of progress. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Bad news, my phone battery died. I didn't realize that I've been working on this thing for like two hours, hour and a half, two hours. So uh, apologies for that, but we still have a long ways to go, as you can see. So uh, we're just breaking the surface. But uh, let me show you what I've done so yeah, far. I'm doing what I said uh, I was gonna be doing, which is starting to place the pieces where they need to go according to the said uh, puzzle. Um, so, just slowly but surely, I've just been putting in pieces and then maybe I'll find a piece here and then a piece here and then a piece here, you know, and then going through the box, you know, I'll find a companion piece here or here, you know, and eventually put something together. Well, let me fix the lighting. So, I mean, that's essentially what I have been up to. Um, Made, we made a lot of progress. There's a root beer hamburger. Uh, this is the Mother Road motorcycles. You know, Mexican food, strawberry, oranges. Ray's restaurant. And as you can see, almost Superman. 
We've just been placing those pieces and building and building on it. So uh, it's time. It's a little time consuming. So I haven't found that flat piece, but it's coming together. Enjoying putting this puzzle together. I'll do uh, another recording this time with the phone with the juice and uh, call it a part one. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude part one of the White Mountain 1000 piece roadside America puzzle. Um, as you can see, you're getting the gist of what I've been doing, which is placing the pieces and filling them in as I find them. Um, let me show you what we've done so far. See, we've done the border, except missing one piece right there, which we'll find eventually. And we've just been slowly working on these various uh, pieces of the puzzle. The south sign, 300 des miles desert ahead, a whole bunch of signs, signs and locations uh, driving down the roads of America, El, El Rey Cafe, real Mexican food, strawberries, oranges, cherries, freshly boiled peanuts, Cowboy Hotel, Skip's Hamburgers, almost Superman swimming pool. Bob's Big loving Boy. those baked beans from Bob's Big Boy. Oh man, I couldn't get enough of them. So anyways, that's where we're at. Uh, I'll see you again in part two. And we'll see if we finish in part two. It's, it's likely we will. Um, thank you for watching uh, Super Dan's Jigsaw Puzzles. If you haven't already, click the thumbs up. Subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.